Josh, we are so, so sorry. We just want to start off with that. You guys are the strongest people we know, and we're just so happy that we're talking to you guys. We really want to talk about the impact you made on the villa and how beautiful your relationship is inside and out. Yeah, of course. Thank you guys so much. Like the support has been unbelievable, you know, from everybody between, you know, past cast members, production, you know, family, friends, just anybody that we don't even really know. It's been absolutely unbelievable. So uh, thank you so much. Obviously, it's a really difficult time for me and my family. So um, the support has meant so much to us. But, you know, it does feel good to be outside the villa and, you know, be on the outside world and just grow our relationship that way. So, um, you know, Shannon's been amazing. A huge rock for me, um, support wise throughout, you know, this entire process. So it's been awesome. And uh, yeah, just looking, you know, looking forward to the future for sure. Taking it all the way back, I'm trying to remember, were you guys coupled up from the very beginning? So yeah, yeah he was day one. <laughs> day one. I always said I was not going to step forward for the first guy that walked out. I was like, I'll probably wait for like the last guy to come out. Um, just so I could see everybody and then probably pick the last guy. And Josh just walked out and I was like, oh, that all went out the window when I saw him. So yeah, since day one. And I was nervous too, because, you know, I've seen past seasons and nobody steps forward for the first person. So once I right. found out I was the first person, I was like, here we go. I was like, already going to get embarrassed on national television. <laughs> we brought that up. We were like, it's a curse that if you're the it first really person, is. no one steps forward. So we didn't yeah. think you would be the first one coming out either. Really? So, yeah. So yeah. We came out and we were like, oh, maybe the curse is going to be broken. <laughs> <laughs> we saw your relationship really grow. And I think everyone in America could see that you were the strongest couple in there. What was the moment that you guys kind of had that click where it was like, oh, this, this is it. I think, honestly, and I think I can speak for both of us, it was, you know, the moment she, you know, came down the stairs after Casa Amor, uh, she just looked, you know, more beautiful than I remembered, which was hard to believe. And, you know, just seeing her single and, you know, me single, and it was just unbelievable. Sorry, my phone's ringing. Uh, <laughs> to see, you know what I mean? And I think, like, the whole Casa Amor experience was meant to confuse us and, you know, question our relationship, but I honestly think it just made us so much stronger. And we truly realized in that moment, like, you know, we have our person here and we just couldn't wait to see each other. And I'm glad that she came down by herself. And, um, you know, honestly, in real, in real life, what they, what they didn't show on TV was I ran all the way to the bottom of the steps and picked her up and she like came in my arms and we just started making out. Yeah. That's literally what happened. Oh my gosh. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait for her to like walk all the way over. I was just so <laughs> excited. Um, so yeah, that, that happened. Oh my gosh. I'm so bummed they didn't show that. It just would have been game over for everybody there. Yeah. If had. <laughs> yeah. I have to say though, Josh, as uh, audience viewers, Alex and I, you know, we kind of, you know, saw your edit up until then. It's like, he's kind of, you know, maybe the player, maybe whatever, you know, fitting the mold of this, but we're still rooting for him and Shannon. We're like, is he going to figure it out? And I think, when you were at Casa and we saw the date of you with Kay on the Paramount Plus episode mm -hmm. it is where we kind of had our pinnacle as viewers being like, wow, he is a really great, mature guy. And hearing you speak, you know, about your family and your interests and playing hockey in Canada, we just like got so much from you that it was like, wow, he actually is mature enough, we think, to be with Shannon and, you know, be in this place in his life. And and that was where we were like, okay, he's, he's not an F boy at all. And yeah. I think that's kind of, as we're like viewers, you know, we totally had our heads turned to being like, okay, we think this could really work. Right. Yeah. It's, you know, obviously being inside the villa, you don't know what's going on and like how you're perceived from the outside. And, you know, we get to know each other on a deeper level, but you know, America doesn't. So um, I think we both knew that we were both genuine people and like good hearted people, but you know, sometimes it's hard uh, with only an hour of airtime or 45 minutes or whatever it is to really get a glimpse of, you know, some of the conversations that we have and really the true character of somebody. But, you know, we were saying, you know, your true colors show eventually. And, you know, if you're just a good person, it'll eventually show. So I think it, obviously, you know, we both, you know, had our bumps in the road and it wasn't easy. You know, no relationship is is completely easy. And if they say it's perfect, you know, it's a lie. So um but I think it all honestly made us stronger. It did uh, just going through that early. And then we just, from then on, just grew and grew and grew. And I think like Casa Moore definitely was a turning point for us where we both realized, you know what I mean? That 
we wanted to be with each other 150%. And, you know, there was no one else that was going to come close to turning our head. Um, and then that date obviously just was amazing um, and just felt so right in the moment. So it honestly, the way our journey happened, I wouldn't have changed it for the world, honestly, because I think it just made us so much stronger. Shannon, were you very nervous on this date? Like <laughs> that he would ask you to be his girlfriend? Were you like, oh no, I don't know if he's going to ask? <laughs> You know, I, we never talked about it. So for me, it was kind of like, I just wanted to make sure we didn't know if this, that was something that we were going to discuss outside of the villa, if we wanted that part on camera or not, just because we knew how we are connection was. So, um, I was never like, Hey, you can ask me to be your girlfriend. Like we're both very like much realists yeah. at the end of the day. Um, and so we never talked about it really. Um, I think Josh had a conversation with Bailey and then I, I asked, also talked to Bailey and I was like, I don't know. We never, we literally never talked never about talked it because we it. just felt like we already were. Um, so like that didn't even really cross my mind to make it like official official. Um, so when he asked me, I was like, oh my gosh, like I just wanted to make sure that it was genuine and authentic. I knew Josh would never have asked that if he wasn't like a hundred percent certain on that. But I, I know, you know, uh, production and I just wanted to make sure that it was something that was genuine from his heart and that that was the right time to ask. That's why I think it kind of looked like I was like, what? Like, yeah, we didn't talk like, about this. I was like, hurry up. You got two seconds. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> and it had nothing to do with like my feelings for Josh. It's, it's always a yes. It will always be a yes. But I just wanted to make sure that that was something that, um, we were comfortable with like discussing on camera and uh, just wanting to make sure that it wasn't anything like scripted or no, yeah. no, no I think, it, I, I think of course I always have, have those doubts being on a reality either. show. I was very much pushing Josh away as far <laughs> as I could oh, yeah. just because I came in with trust <laughs> issues and then, you know, the reality TV aspect behind it. I just, I, I wouldn't I trust it. I, I couldn't help. trust it. So he just kept coming back to me and <laughs> our connection is so magnetic that, you know, I do genuinely think that I found my person. So I, we never thought coming on a show, no. we were so skeptical and I was like, that would never happen to me. Or like, <laughs> I'm sure Josh kind of had similar feelings like going yeah. into it. Um, but just the way I see him, especially on the outside now being, you know, at his house with his family, his friends, like, I didn't think I could like him even more, but it's just, it's grown so much more even outside of the villa. And he's been dealing with just like so much trauma. Um, and he's just so strong. It really just, I see this completely different side of Josh that is so attractive in so many different ways that just inside the villa, you, you could never see that part, so. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's It's so funny for you to say that because when at first you were talking with the girls in the locker room or whatever, and you were like, I don't think he's going to ask me to be his girlfriend here. Like, I just don't think it's going to happen. And then it yeah. just happened. And I was like, this is amazing. Yeah. I know it's wild because it wasn't, it wasn't planned at all. Like she said, we hadn't talked about it. And, you know, I was just, we went on that date. It was amazing. Probably one of the coolest things I've ever done. Honestly, it, it felt like something out of a movie with the waterfall and the zip line and just like, the scenery and everything like that and just finally like enjoying some one-on-one -on -one time outside the villa was awesome too it felt like real life for a second and you know we were just having such a great date and it just popped in my head and I was like what not you know there's not going to be a better moment than right now so I figured I just you know ask but yeah it was it was awesome it was definitely one of my favorite moments in there did you tell anyone that you were going to do it or no oh my gosh I love it <laughs> I didn't tell any of the guys, none of the girls, because I didn't expect to, honestly. Yeah. I, you know, I didn't know where we were going. I didn't know how the date was going to go. I knew nothing. So it just popped in my head when I was just looking at her talking. And I was like, you know what, I'm going I'm to send this one. So It did feel like up until right before you guys left that you guys almost moved so fast that you outgrew the villa and the entire thing completely. Like it felt yeah. so exponential that it was like you guys were just so ready for the real world too. Yeah, it's crazy you say that because we were saying that to each other, probably like that last week that we were in there, you know, mm -hmm. we were like, I feel super strong, you know, we know almost everything about each other and we know how we move and we're ready to just leave here and obviously the villa was an unbelievable experience we met so many, you know, amazing friends and had so much fun and if we could still be there we would but 
you know, we were having conversations, like we're just ready to, you know, you know, meet my friends, meet her friends, families, and just take it to the outside because we felt so strongly about our relationship at that point. Um, so it's funny that you say that. I just like thought of something just in my head that I wanted, I hope you guys do is I know since you guys ended up not being there, there's like a part at the end of Love Island where you like write each other a letter. I feel oh. like you guys should do that still, even yeah. though you're not there and it won't be on camera or anything. I feel like you guys yeah. should still do that for each other. Like not, yeah. you don't have to share with anybody or anything, but it would be cute for you guys to do that, I think. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, that would be awesome. We should do that. I know, because we didn't get to see um, kind of what comes after, you know, just because it was very quick turnaround, packed our bags and we just left. So um, I think that would be a great idea. I do. You get a yeah. chance to see my corny side. I'm pretty good. <laughs> We love a corny side. That's the best part. <laughs> if you're looking for an incredible meal kit service, look no further than HelloFresh. HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and grocery trips with less prep, less effort, and minimal cleanup. So you have a meal ready in just about 30 minutes. Choose from 50 menu and market items each week from vegetarian meals to craft burgers and extra special gourmet options all available. So over the weekend, I cooked the pork sausage and roasted bell pepper pasta. This is what the recipe card looks like. I love these noodles. They're my favorite kind of noodles, the little macaroni and cheese shape. And it was delicious. Very good meal to make. And HelloFresh offers the flexibility you need to easily customize your order on the app within minutes. So just go to HelloFresh.com slash AfterTheIsland14 and use code AfterTheIsland14 for up to 14 free meals plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash AfterTheIsland14 and use code AfterTheIsland14 for up to 14 free meals plus free shipping. And another message from our sponsors, BetterHelp. Obviously, we always talk about mental health and how important it is. So if you're looking for therapy, why not try BetterHelp? BetterHelp is professional counseling done securely online. With BetterHelp, you can start communicating with your own licensed therapist in under 48 hours through phone or video. Whatever works for you. Just visit BetterHelp.com slash After the Island, that's Better H-E-L-P, to join over 1 million people who have used BetterHelp. And you can get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash After the Island. That's 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash After the Island. We had so many questions for you guys, obviously. Yeah, right <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna try to pull up the question who box. Who would cause... you guys say of the remaining couples left would be the strongest? Or who do you see lasting on the outside that you would maybe vote for to win the show at this point? Olivia and Corey, Olivia I think and Corey. we can both agree on that one. I mean, obviously, you know, we wish everyone the best of luck on the show and we think everyone's there for the right reasons, but you know, Corey was one of my best guy friends and Olivia is one of my best girlfriends and then vice versa for you. Yeah. Um, and we just see how they move and like what you see on TV is exactly how they are. Like they're just awesome, genuine people. And I think that they're both older and they know exactly what they want and, you know, like Shannon said a lot, you know, Liv coming back from Casa More Single really just shows it. Um, yeah. How strong she is. And, you know, she knows exactly what she wants and her, her feelings for Corey. And I'm so happy. And I think that, you know, a lot of the best relationships start as friendships. Mm -hmm. And you can just see that coming to fruition for them. And it's just unbelievable just because we know them on a personal level. And it's just so cool to see them right now. And, you know, I wish them nothing but the best. Yeah. I think, the, I think what we see from everyone that we talk to that leaves the show when we ask about them is that they, everyone has pretty much said that they're very aligned and yeah. that's like yeah. super important to like the roots of a relationship. For sure. Oh, for sure. They have uh, great, they have great communication, honestly. Like they're both on the same page about a lot of things. There's no surprises with them. And I think that's why they're so strong. They're very much like Josh and I where we we don't care we don't have a filter right. this is how it is take it or leave it um so we know that olivia and corey are like that too yeah. and with that you know there's no secrets there's no i don't know the communication is there it's like if something's bothering olivia she's gonna say it and vice versa with corey that's why we got along so well with them in the villa um and I, again just the cost of more thing like Liv was like, I don't care if I come back single and I go home, then I go home with my head held high. Like, and just the fact that she was like, oh my gosh, like Casa Amor is making me realize, like, I think I really like Corey more, more than a friend. And we were like, oh, we've been waiting for this one. Turn it <laughs> <up>. <laughs> for this one. So I, I definitely think that, you know, we both agree that I think that uh, Corey and Olivia to the end. Yeah. Now that for you guys sure. say that it's like, I 
feel like we can see the vulnerability with both of them. And that's kind of mm-hmm. what it takes to make people closer together when you can be fully vulnerable with the way you feel. And right. it just brings you to that next like deeper level. I felt that I felt that with us, honestly, like before the show, I was never that vulnerable or, you know, I didn't talk about my emotions and my relationships that much. And you you guys know, like being in there, that's all you do. And it really brings that side out of you. And you, you don't know what's inside until you try. And I think like it honestly made me a better person. And, you know, Shannon's definitely made me a better, better person in our relationship. And, you know, I didn't think in a million years, I would come on a TV show and meet someone so aligned with what I want. You know what I mean? And it's absolutely unbelievable. Like I was optimistic but skeptical at the same time and it just to see it you know what it is now is just absolutely unbelievable for me it's it's like you guys were made for each other honestly like it's, it's so weird, crazy right? it's, it's so, so crazy. weird we like finish each other's sentences sometimes it's so it's so strange it is it's weird it's, it is. it's so funny um I'm completely pivoting to <laughs> my philly girl shannon you brought the Philly out of you and I could not respect it more. I was like, that is my bitch. Excuse my language. <laughs> like, okay, I need you to walk us through this Will interaction because I know there was more to it than what we saw. Yeah, it was, was so funny. It was so funny while you gather your thoughts so about how you want to respond. Like I, we would obviously review the show and I'd be like, she was going ham and I was like no it's it's a Philly thing it's a Philly thing I'm like is everyone in Philly like this and she's like yes then Shannon is it that that's what I tried to explain to Will um I know a lot of it was not aired what was actually said um but I tried to explain to Will that he's like oh you're so drama you're so much drama and you're so like almost like rude and, and this and that and I said like this is how I am. This is how people in Philadelphia are. This is how I was raised, how my family is, how my friends are. We're loud. We don't have a filter. We don't care what your opinion is. We tell it how it is and we only spit facts. And if you don't like what I have to say and you don't want to hear it, then maybe that's on your own guilty conscience. So definitely it looked like I, I popped off on Will but there were things that weren't allowed to be aired that Will mm-hmm. said to me um one in fact was go back to Philadelphia where you came from um which wasn't you know the the worst of the things that he said uh but we are we are over that we are not allowed to discuss that but um yeah so it did look like I popped off but there really was a lot of in between the lines there where like you guys didn't get to hear what Will was saying to me. So it kind of sounded like Will was this sweet, you know, and he is, he's very kind. Um, I don't want to have any ill will towards him, but um, it, it made him look like he was very calm and mature. And then I was kind of like, yeah, bye, bye. See you later. Bye. And that's really because of the way, you know, the things he said to me really hit a nerve and yeah I, I just had to remove myself so there's always two sides to the story you know tv only shows you half of what happens um but actually when josh and i were leaving um after hearing about his sister passing uh will did uh say to me he was very sorry for some of the things he should not have said to me um so you know i'm i don't have grudges i think that's so unhealthy um right. We're not here for that, you know, I don't, that's not good for my mental health. Um, so for me, that apology really went a long way and um, it's it's cut at that, you know, I, I still think, you know, Corey and Olivia are the ones that are like genuine that have the shot. I think that they should make it to the end, but yeah, the Will fight was just, it kind of made me look like I was a crazy Philly girl. And no, like, I, I'm not going to lie. You know, I so, tango to I had your back so hard. I was like, there's things we're not seeing. I know it. I know it. Yeah. You don't go off like this without having some yeah. straight facts that like someone is really pushing your buttons to go hard like that. I, I got you. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I'm, I'm really a nice person and I'm not confrontational, especially not on the outside. I really don't have bad blood with anybody from like back at home or anything like that where I I would need to act like that so just the things that he said to me that like made me so upset in that moment obviously they were not shown 
So right. when when she's and, got something to say, she's definitely gonna say it. Though. That's what I like about her. As like, she should. She definitely, she definitely and, puts me in my place a lot, which which I need sometimes. So. I, I, I don't I, hold back. I have no filter. So sometimes it gets me in trouble, but at the end of the day. I think that's something that really makes you, (laughs) you, and that's really amazing. All right, let's take a quick moment to hear from another one of our sponsors. If you're looking for jewelry that's sustainable, chic, and affordable, you need to check out Ana Luisa. It's spelled A-N-A-L-U-I-S-A. It is the first direct-to-consumer jewelry brand to become carbon neutral, and their jewelry is absolutely gorgeous. This means for all the CO2 they produce during the creation of their jewelry, the running of their business, and the shipping of their orders, it's all counterbalanced with the same amount of oxygen. How great is that? I have on a piece right now from Ana Luisa. It's a very... Oh, oh yeah, I have that one too. I love it. <laughs> very simple you know, beautiful, dainty piece of jewelry. It's great quality. I'm actually very impressed with this brand. I actually wore and owned their stuff before we even started working with them. So Ana Luisa, oh, the puppy likes it too. (laughs) Um, uh, That's A-N-A-L-U-I-S-A. It starts at just $39 a piece right now and you can get 20% off with their summer sale. Seriously, don't sleep on this. Again, we absolutely recommend checking out Ana Luisa. Just go to shop Ana Luisa, shop.analuisa.com slash after the island. We love them. Their pieces start at $39 and you can get 20% off their summer sale right now. Hashtag Ana Luisa NY. And it is time to talk hair. If you are worried about weaker thinning hair, then you should try Nutrafol. The supplement is clinically shown to improve hair growth and thickness with less shedding. I talk about it every time. I love my Nutrafol. My mom loves it. Go get yourself some. Nutrafol offers two targeted formulas for women that are clinically shown to improve hair growth and thickness with less shedding through all stages of life. But remember, healthier hair growth takes time. You'll begin to experience thicker, stronger, faster growing hair in three to six months. You can grow thicker, healthier hair and support our show by going to Nutrafol.com and entering the promo code after the island to save $15 off your first month's subscription. This is their best offer anywhere, and it's only available to U.S. customers for a limited time. Plus, free shipping on every order. Get $15 off at Nutrafol.com, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L.com, promo code after the island. I also wanted you to walk us through and clear the air with everything with, with Jenny. There was so much, you know, posted yeah. online and what we saw on TV. And I just wanted to give you a chance to kind of, you know, set things yeah. straight with all of that. Um, yeah, Jenny and I are good. Um, it's actually my little sister's. She used to be friends with Jenny. Okay. So um, Jenny, again, none of this was aired, but um, Jenny came in and basically when I was away at Casa more, she was airing out my dirty laundry with a previous man that I was with um, in very, very raunchy detail, very private, um, intimate details that not only would I want America or any of these people to know, but especially not Josh. Um, you guys know you've been through it, the Casa more. That is so hard. And like, could you imagine like a girl from your hometown coming in Um, and just airing out all these personal details about your life to like the guy that you're, you know, falling for. It it was so not her place. It was getting into like our relationship. Like it's one thing if it's like, you know, confrontation between two people, but it started to, you know, affect our relationship. And she was talking about things in, you know, her past and their past, like super like raunchy. And it was honestly making not only me uncomfortable, but like other people in the villa uncomfortable. Yeah. And we just sort of like had to step up and like say something because it was really not okay. And I wasn't the only one that was feeling like that. And it's just like, if, if someone came in from my past and started telling her, you know, all about things that like, it's not even, it's not even worth it. It would make you like second guess too, because he doesn't know who I am as a person outside of the villa and vice versa. So because we're in such that fragile environment in, in um, the villa, you know, it felt as though, and I said this to Jenny, that you, you're, you're sabotaging, you know, my relationship with Josh. And um, first of all, it has nothing to do with the show. Um, I have no idea why you would bring up things from my past that, um, you know, it's just, it was absolutely a nightmare. Um, And obviously they did not air any of that. I was about Um, to say this is the first we are hearing of this. Well, because now the raunchy conversation makes sense as to where it came from. It didn't connect the dots for us as viewers. There's one one thing to like, you know, talk about, you know, this person had sex with this person in the past or it went like this. But like 
the way she was describing it, it was like, and like, we're very sexual people. We're comfortable with our sexuality. It was making us uncomfortable and like mm-hmm. other yeah. people uncomfortable, like the way she was describing it. And I was like, this girl's really raunchy. And I didn't know her from a hole in the wall. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Obviously you know her better, but that's just was my first impression of her. And I was like, I don't. I feel just because we'll even hearing this secondhand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I don't even yeah, know it, what it was said. And I, I feel uncomfortable right. being honest. But I think a big thing when we were reviewing all of this, what we said is that Jenny is very young. How old is she? Like yeah. 21. Mm-hmm. And I think that 21. I wish producers had shifted away from people this young because I yeah. think it when you're on national television and in a situation like this, you don't know yourself yet at that age and can make right. a lot of mistakes and exactly I think not a, I think they need to be careful of you know very mature people that know themselves and stay away from anything too detrimental to anyone's like mental health or you know what yeah could lead to like much more problematic scenarios I couldn't agree more honestly that's why I kind of um you know we made up and yeah it was a little weird the makeup um it was definitely a little bit fake or maybe just like a little bit over the top i mean jenny and i are friends we're good um but you also have to take in con- into consideration her age and take that with a grain of salt right. um obviously you know she came and she stirred stuff up and then and then she left so i don't know um i would love to say you know i, I genuinely think she was there to to find a connection but at the same time i think that also like Josh and I had the strongest connection in the villa and maybe, I don't know, I think a lot of people, it it inspired them. Like they, they want, you want that. You want to come into Love Island and, and find this amazing person and this like just magnetic connection that we have. So we kind of knew that going into it and dealing in certain situations, like, all right, let's just step back here and, and really look at the whole picture um but again I always feel like I look like the crazy Philly girl that pops off and tells people to shut their mouth and and this and that when it's really like (laughs) nothing you know uh there's two sides to every story and and nothing was aired of that so absolutely I feel like I have a very sweet demeanor too and so does Alex but I think any person faced with you know something that could hit them to the core I mean or you know really rile up something that feels personal would get anybody going did what did you know that she was interviewing even for love island or was that a complete shock seeing her or did you know that she might be going on and no i actually knew um she she told people she told me that she was going on um she made like a tiktok saying she was going on that went viral um i think they made her take it down actually though oh, yeah. um but i did know i did talk to her about it we were talking um, in the hotel before, you know, in our quarantine period, right before the show, um, we actually got into a fallout in quarantine. I, I had blocked her number, actually. Um, I just think that she was young and she didn't mean the words that were coming out of her mouth. Um, and maybe quarantine and being in that hotel just really got to a lot of us and it definitely got to her. Um, so I don't really want to say anything bad on that. I think that everybody's mental health was affected differently. Everybody goes about things differently in the quarantine process. And, um, you know, some things were said that had hurt my feelings and kind of like attacked my character even before the show. Um, So that's why when I saw her on the show, I didn't even think that she was going to make it that far. I thought that she was probably going to go back home. Um, just the way she was talking I didn't I didn't Mm -hmm. think she really wanted wanted the show anymore so yeah I was shocked but also not so shocked I was more shocked that I saw her with Jeremy (laughs) because I was like I know Jenny and I'd like to think Jeremy is one of Josh's best friends he's one of my best friends and I know Jeremy and just the personality dynamic was absolutely like hot and cold. It was just completely polar opposite knowing both of these people. So that was the biggest shock of all. Um, And that's why it kind of seemed like I was was a little bit weird, you know, at the recoupling when I said like poor boy or something, because I was like, oh my gosh, Jeremy, like, you know, that was, that was crazy. Knowing everything now, obviously, you know, we would have warned Jeremy, like, you know, kind of told him, you know, if it was too far, but 
I'm not going to lie. Like, obviously you were at Casa Amor. She didn't really show that side of her at all. Wow. Like during Casa Amor. So, you know, obviously I remember you saying, you know, there's a girl, um, you know, from my hometown coming on. And then she said she was from Philly. I put two and two together, but I didn't see, I, you know, I give everyone the benefit of the doubt until they prove me wrong. And that's just the person I am. So I was just kind of going with it. And she didn't, there was really none of those like red flags per se, at least throughout the time during Casa Amor. So I think that's where Jeremy kind of like, and he's such a nice guy. Mm -hmm. He kind of fell into that like trap almost a little bit. Um, but yeah, and then I, when I saw your face, when, you know, she was coupled up with Jeremy during Casa Amor, then it hit me. I was like, uh-oh, <laughs> like there's going to yeah. be something going down. <laughs> yeah, I have the funniest smirk on my face right now because I think one of the funniest moments of the season oh my gosh. watching as a viewer is you exploding in the boys' locker room over <laughs> the social media. No one stuff. cares. No, no one, one freaking cares. cares. And the and the, sne the fake sneeze. Oh my god. The fake sneezing. Like I oh. see that was like the funniest <laughs> thing I've seen the whole season. And <laughs> we were so fed up when I tell you, like, obviously some people come on for the right reason, the wrong reasons, but like everything that came out of you know, I kind of get Leslie because that's her job, social media, but like Jenny especially was social media, how many followers, who follows me, what celebrities I've had sex with. Like it was like every sentence, every word, and no one was even bringing it up. She was just bringing it up organically. And we were like, because that dynamic of the villa wasn't like that before they got there. And we were all like looking around, what is this girl talking about? And it came to a point where we were so fed up. So we were just like, okay, I'm going to sneeze so loud every time she starts talking about it and see if they pick up on what's going on i didn't and even know what i don't even know what you're talking about yeah i would do, we would do felt like, like something from the uk people. love island like it felt very yes like it matched the vibe so of the funny UK love island where it's just you know a situation that could be bad just turns funny and oh my gosh we were i was cracking up at that <laughs> yeah and then in the locker room in the dressing room will was like oh i feel like they bring it and i just it got to me when something like gets to a point for me, I just have to say, I just have to like pop off for a second. So I was just like, nobody cares. Nobody asked. Like, what are you even talking about? You have know, you seen I mean? the, the TikTok? Have you seen the clip of you doing that? I haven't. No, I haven't. No, we haven't watched so like funny. anything, honestly. Oh, there's a, you guys have a lot of great, like funny moments that I'm happy for you to go back and watch. I think Singo you'll be really, also remade it. Yeah, I think no one cares. Really Literally did. no one cares. I think it's it's so really funny. fun for you guys to go back and watch together and be able to laugh through all of it. And I think it'll bring you guys a lot of like happy times to go back and for watch. sure. It'll be, it'll be fun. Oh, like a um, memory book. Yeah. Yes. One hundred percent. Um, I know we're running out of time because I just got a timer on my Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give us your favorite memory from the villa. Um, you want to start? My favorite memory in the villa was coming down the stairs from Casa More. I think that was both of our favorite memories for one, um, and just like that immense like connection, feeling like okay we did this and, and we got this. And then another favorite memory was the date. That was absolutely amazing. We're so happy that we got to do that, you know, before returning and, and dealing with everything that um, we're dealing with here now. We're very glad that we got our date. And yeah. when he asked me to be his girlfriend, the hideaway, we have yeah, a lot of a, really good memories. Good the hideaway, we didn't even get a chance to ask about that. that oh my God, it was everything, was everything. So funny. When Josh was like, sorry, mom. <laughs> I was just like at a loss for words because we didn't, we came in day one. We were like, there's no way we're having sex on national television. No, no shot. shot. We both <laughs> That's heard, the kicker. We, It'll get you. Know. <laughs> and then it just, I don't know. It just happened. She came out in the lingerie. I don't remember a word she said after that. And then, <laughs> I, I, he blacked out. <laughs> yeah. And it just, it happened. I don't regret it though at all. So I don't regret it either. We but love no, it. Yeah, so it, it, <laughs> my favorite moment was definitely, you know, I don't think even the show does it justice when she came down from Casa Amor and like just the raw emotion like both of us had was crazy. Um, and then obviously that date, like I said, it was something out of a movie I'll never forget. I'm glad we got a chance to do it. Finally get our first date, you know, right before we had to, we had to exit the show. Um, you know, I, I really do wish my sister got a chance to see it. Um, it was aired, you know, shortly after. Um, 
which you know it's you know she saw yeah. that came up with that. Yeah. yeah but uh you know it's just awesome because you know part of me you know coming back I had you know regrets of like missing out on the last couple months of her life but you know after talking to all of her friends you know they watched every night and my parents and family and they said it just brought her so much joy just watching me on tv you know what I mean and it just I it puts me at peace a little bit um and it helps but yeah I think the entire experience was awesome just waking up every day you know not knowing what to expect and just you know next to next to you is just unbelievable so I had I had an unbelievable experience yeah and I think you not only brought so much joy to your sister watching but like so many people watching loved Mm -hmm. watching you guys you were big light of the season America's favorite couple like let's be honest it's really great for you know not only your sister but a lot of people to watch and I think you guys can find a lot of you know happiness yeah peace with that for now and it's also a testament for your sister to have gotten you on the show she brought you to Shannon which is just like it's it's incredible isn't it wild like I'm a true believer in things do happen for a reason and 100 100 percent my sister had a plan, you know, you might not see it now, but my sister had a plan and, you know, her entire life, she was just giving, like she was a social worker. She was just helping children and trying to save as many lives as she could. And like, that's literally how she went out. She was just giving, you know what I mean? And it's just unbelievable because, you know, that's how I want her to be remembered. And that's just the person she was. And it's crazy how, how life works sometimes, mm-hmm. but um, I'm just definitely glad that it brought me to, to Shannon for sure. Aww that's we're, it's we're sending so much oh love so much guys. love and, and if you guys have like a GoFundMe page or anything yeah. that you can send to us that we can you know put out there for our followers if you guys want that anything that we can do to help seriously do not hesitate no. to reach out yeah. to us because we will do all we can mm-hmm. yeah absolutely we actually were talking about this and you know my sister did a lot of work obviously for the community that we live in and you know helping the children so we are going to start um, a link and you know all the all the funds are going to go to the Emmaus house, um, which is just, you know, an organization that, you know, helps, you know, the children and anybody in the community that's, you know, um, less fortunate. And, you know, she would love that because she did a lot of work with, with those people. So we are going to put that up shortly. Yeah, Um, probably later tonight. We're going to do that, but we'll make sure to send you guys the direct link. Um, And obviously if you could share that or send it on that would be awesome i think that's what a sister would want to yeah, give back absolutely we'll definitely be contributing personally yes. and by sharing of course. as well um so yeah, i think that's a really good up. note to yeah. leave on sorry i don't want to like yeah. run out of time and then it just like cuts yeah. off and like no. we just don't get but to thank say you bye guys so much for coming on here today everyone's going to be so happy to hear from you and you know it was really nice for us to be able to talk to you we really appreciate it yeah and, thank you so much we're we're here for you guys all of our thoughts and, and prayers yes. seriously so Thank much you guys love. so much. Honestly, it means a lot. All the support, like I said, and just meeting you guys here is just I'm kind of starstruck, honestly. Yes, a little bit. Stop yeah. it. We're starstruck. <laughs> we're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> we have to meet up in person at some point. So yes, we're so absolutely. happy. Yeah, we are so happy to talk to you. And seriously, whatever you guys need, we are here for you. The Love Island family is here for you. And we just are sending so much, so much love. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, we love you guys and thank, thank you, you guys so, much so much for much. having us on. Yeah, of really course. Nice. We love you we love so you. much. Thank you everyone for tuning in. We will see you next time. Bye, Shannon and Josh. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Love you guys. Love you. Love you.